So you finally got a job in the United States and an employer willing to sponsor you. But guess what? The labor certification that they filed for you is now denied. What are you gonna do? What are the steps you have to take now to move forward? Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. We make immigration easy. In this video, we'll talk about the PERM labor certification, but specifically what to do when your PERM labor certification is denied. It's quite devastating because you put so much effort and money into this process and specifically time. And now that it's denied, most people feel helpless and have no idea what to do next. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly what you have to do to overcome these denials and move forward. Before we do that, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need help with your immigration matter, if you need help with your permit application, green card process, any of those situations, all you have to do is send me a text, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. Let's talk about PERM labor certification, specifically what happens when such applications are rejected and denied. Now remember, if you're an employer watching this or an employee about to get a job with an employer, you have to realize that in the process of getting a green card for an employer, we have three steps. We've got the PERM labor certification where we file a petition with the labor department to show that there are no US workers that are being affected by this position and you've done a test of the labor market to prove that there's actually a need for this position. Once you clear that labor certification, then you move to step number two, which is filing the immigrant petition form I-140 with the US Immigration Service. And once that's approved, you can file the adjustment of status. Sometimes you can file the I-140 and the adjustment of status at the same time. But now we're focusing on step number one, PERM labor certification. You've done all the efforts. You put the advertising in the newspapers. You did what you had to do. You submitted form ETA 1989 online. And after it's been reviewed, the application is now rejected. Number one, understand the reasons for the denial. When you receive a denial from the Labor Department, usually it's gonna outline the reasons for the denial. Maybe sometimes you check the wrong box on the ETA 1989, the application that we use to file PERM. Maybe you use a job description that doesn't match the requirements or what you actually asked for in the beginning when you filed this application. Maybe your application is not complete. Maybe there's deficiency in the recruitment when you filed all the ads throughout this process. There is an example of denial, a client that came to my office for a second opinion, is that the recruitment was deficient. They essentially didn't follow all the steps of recruitment and they didn't interview all the applicants that applied for the position. And so the Labor Department decided to disqualify this entire recruitment. And as a result, this PERM application was denied. So number one, very important to review and understand the reasons for the denial. Number two, if you think that there was an error or the denial is not reasonable, you can request a reconsideration within 30 days of this denial. You can file this reconsideration with the Department of Labor within 30 days since you received the denial notice. When you submit a request for a consideration, it's very important to explain in detail why you think they made a mistake and why you think the Labor Department should reverse this decision and approve this PERM application. Once again, it's very important to submit a detailed explanation and any supporting evidence that you have to support your request for reconsideration. Now, if they decide to reject your reconsideration, option number three, if they reject your request for reconsideration, you can file an appeal with the Board of Alien Labor Certification, also known as BALCA. BALCA is an independent body that will review the decision of Labor Department and will decide whether there is a reason to reverse the decision and approve your appeal. Now remember, when you file an appeal with BALCA, you're not allowed to file a new PERM application. Therefore, it's really important to weigh the chances and see whether it's even worth it to file an appeal or just refile PERM, essentially start all over again. Appeals take a long time these days, but also refiling a PERM takes some time as well. But sometimes refiling PERM is gonna be faster than waiting for the decision of the appeal. The problem is that when you file an appeal, you're not allowed to file another application until you have a decision. So keep this in mind. Number four, once again, if the appeal is not working, you may want to explore other options. For example, maybe refile the PERM 
with a new position. Maybe change the way you filed the original permit application. Change the description of the job. Change the position. If you meet the requirements, if you have the skills, some employees can qualify for multiple positions. Maybe the position that was chosen in the first perm was not good enough and you can try something else that will be much easier to get approved. If in some cases people don't qualify at all for labor certification, you may want to explore other options. Maybe you qualify for self-petition instead under the National Interest Waiver EB2 category. Maybe you qualify for other options but not the perm labor certification. So it could be self-petition through investment or because of your skills. But again, in most cases, it's possible by changing the position, by making some changes there, you're able to refile the perm, a brand new perm application with a different course after you evaluated that the first course didn't work. Once again, don't give up. There are always options. And in most cases, by changing a few little things and refiling, you eventually get approved. At the end of the day, perm denials are frustrating because we spend so much time and money going through the process, advertising, every little detail matters. The key to a successful perm application is to do everything correct from the beginning. It's almost like building a building from Lego. If you make a mistake in the beginning, it's gonna be very difficult to have a perfect building at the end. As always, make sure you review your perm application in the beginning when you do it. Have a very detailed checklist to follow when you start from A to Z, and this way, no mistakes could happen. As always, if your application is denied, Hopefully the tips in this video will help you overcome your denial and start fresh with a new plan. As always, if you need my help with any of your immigration matters, all you have to do is send me a text 619-483-4549. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.